Okay guys, I'm out here in downtown Tacoma uh, asking the question, is this worth it? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I just started doing daily uploads to my vlog, so I'd really appreciate the support. Okay, so back on topic. So you might be asking, why did I buy this lens? Uh, me, two reasons. One, I love compression. My favorite lens to use is actually the 85 millimeter. I love the look it gives and the style it gives to the shoots I do. Um, so I just wanted a telephoto lens that was just ridiculous to just play around with and see what it was like. Uh, reason number two was I really wanted to get a cool photo of the moon. Gosh, why does it have to rain? So the one catch about this thing is it's a 500 to 1000 millimeter. Um, and I thought maybe that was like zoom lens, but this is actually the focus. It's actually just a two times converter. You just attach to the front end of it. So let me just show you some shots with this thing. So I'm gonna start off by showing you shots from my 25 millimeter. I will use that car at the end of the parking lot as a reference. This next shot is from my 85 millimeter and the surrounding buildings. Now let's throw on that 500. This lens is so long, it's hard to hold steady. But as you can see, there's a ton of compression and you happen to catch shots like this with birds flying by, which is pretty cool. Let's take a freeze frame from the 500 of that car. You can see for $100, it's actually not too bad. It's better than I expected, that's for sure. Let's zoom it in to 500%. Here's where you can really see the faults. I only had my ISO about 500, but you can really see on the shadows of the car and the edging, how the color just kind of distorts. Now let's throw on that two times converter and show you a thousand. Here's just some shots of the exact same sort of things. The detail you get to see on the buildings is actually kind of cool. Again, here's that car. Honestly, for the money, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Now let's zoom into 500 now. Here again, you can really see the softness of this lens, how the shadows have this purplish hue to them, and all the noise in the trees and all that. As you can see, this lens is kind of ridiculous, um, but it's also kind of fun. If I had to give an overall recommendation to buy it or not to buy it, I'm reminded of one of those sayings that says, buy once, cry once. <laughs> I honestly would never recommend anybody to buy this. Uh, it's fun, it's kind of goofy. It was funny to show off to my friends and have them just kind of freak out. But honestly, the, the practical uses of this thing, it, there isn't any. So yeah, I mean, obviously the choice is still up to you, but I would recommend against it, obviously. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below, give me a like and hit that subscribe button. It really mean the world to me. I'm just starting now going daily. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.